This year in Power BI Desktop, we've released over 150 features. Take a look. This is a lot of features. Desktop PMs were asked a difficult question. Out of all these features, what's the favorite five? Now, here's our pick presented by the very engineers who worked on them. Tooltips are a great way to enable progressive disclosure of information for your end users. With report page tooltips, you can display an entire report page as a tooltip. This feature gives you full flexibility to design whatever kind of custom tooltips you want, and the best part is, it's so easy to create. You just drop in the field you want to display for the tooltip, and it just works like magic. With the new Web by Example connector, extracting data from the web has never been so easy. Users can easily preview and enter sample values from a web page that they would like to extract into Power BI. With just a couple of examples, Power BI will be able to infer the rest of the values to extract from the web page. And uh, it's really easy. You can do multiple columns, and you even get suggestions for the values that you can pick from that web page. We have over six trillion rows instant response times over a petabyte of data. And as you can see, the user experience is highly interactive. The reason this is possible is we're using the new aggregations feature in Power BI to cache the data at the aggregated level, which unlocks these massive data sets in a way that was physically impossible before, using a tiny fraction of the memory requirements. And if the user happens to drill down to the detail level where there is no cache, that's okay, it will submit a direct query to SQL Data Warehouse, providing a seamless user experience and a balanced architecture. And here we can see the detailed query that was submitted to the six trillion row table when I drilled down to order details. Expanding Collapse was one of our most requested features on our Ideas Forum, and it lets you use these plus and minus buttons to uh, drill down and see lower levels of detail in your matrix visuals. You can also right-click and expand and collapse individual selections or everything at a certain level. You can turn on and off the plus and minus icons through the formatting pane, uh, and there's a whole bunch of different options for controlling it there. And the great thing is this gives you a load of power as an end user to uh, drill into data almost as if you're using a pivot table just in Excel. The filters are a very important part of report creation and consumption. We have revamped the whole experience. We have changed the default look and feel of the filter pane. And we also allow to customize your filter pane to fill part of your report. Additionally, we support functionality to hide filters from your report consumers and lock filters so they are read-only. And finally, we have also added the ability to see exactly what filters and slicers are affecting a particular visual. The accessibility features include the ability to add filters from the context menu of the fields list, new SVG icons, the ability to hover over colors to see the hex value, an upgraded formula bar that now allows you to expand it for a larger view, or zoom in and out using control plus and minus or control in the mouse wheel, and a keyboard shortcut dialog that is super easy to access so you don't need to memorize a ton of shortcuts. You've heard our top five features. We're really excited to hear in the comments what were your top five favorites. Uh, we're looking forward to another great year next year and all the feedback from the community. Thanks and have a great new year. Happy New Year! Woo!